Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today I have on the Diana in by Aesthetica in Caramel Kiss. This is the wig I'm wearing right now, the Diana in Caramel Kiss or Caramel Kiss by Aesthetica. So this is a really great little wig. It would be great in blonde or any other color. It is just absolutely a great little wig and I love the bangs. The bangs are perfect. Everything about this wig just really suits me and I really like the color. I like this Caramel Kiss color. Now I've been wearing this wig for quite some time and a lot of times people don't recognize me coming. I've said that before because it's so dark. But what I'm going to showcase to you today is a few of my dark haired wigs that I have been wearing and that I and I enjoy. So I am building up my wig closet with dark hair and especially the ones that are highlighted like this with these gold highlights. I really love it. The dark hair contrasted with the gold highlights is just beautiful. So this is the Diana and I love her. I wear her quite often because she to me is just a great little wig. The next one that I have is going to be the June, which I've enjoyed wearing. I haven't had this one that long, but I've enjoyed wearing it. This is the June wig by uh, Renee of Paris as part of her orchid collection. And this one is in chocolate pretzel. chocolate pretzel. You see it's that same color, the dark with the contrast of the gold highlights in it that I really, really enjoy. Let me see if I can get my ear tabs right. There we go. And there's the June. The June has a short tapered back. As soon as I get it combed, I'll show it to you. I like the way it goes over like that. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's lovely, lovely wig. I'm going to get it right in the right place. Really, really pretty wig. Can go to the side like that very nicely. And of course, this one, this one is in chocolate pretzel and you can see the gold highlights. I would like to see more of those. But you can see how pretty that hairline is in the back. It goes straight down it's tapered right there beautiful beautiful hairline so this is the june it's another one of my dark wigs in my dark wig collection that i enjoy wearing i like june a lot and the next one is going to be the Bailey in Iced Mocha. The Bailey in Iced Mocha. I'm going to turn it around here. Now, if you want a review of any of these wigs, I will leave that in the description box below. I'll find those for you. And you can see those as well. So, there we go. These, this is the Bailey wig. I have one in blonde and I have one in the dark color. And I really, really enjoy the Bailey wig. I think it's a really pretty, pretty wig. Just enjoy it. I think it's beautiful. Let me get my mirror and you can see the back of the Bailey. The Bailey comes down so beautiful and it just curls right under to frame your face. A gorgeous profile. This is a beautiful wig. And again, you can see the gold in contrast. This is iced mocha, iced mocha. Sometimes it's hard to keep all of them straight, but this one is iced mocha and you can see the gold contrast in with the dark color. I love that. I think that is very, very pretty. I love these dark wigs that have the 
gold or the blonde over the top. I think those are just so, so pretty and so wonderful to wear. So this is the Bailey by Renee of Paris and she is in iced mocha, iced mocha, just so we keep things straight. All right, now I have another one. This is a new one, this is the Tia. Here's the card for her. The Tia by Tony of Beverly Hills, Tony's Tresses. And this one is the Safari with Malibu Highlights. Safari with Malibu Highlights. Let me get her, she's a long wig. This one would be good for a ponytail. So I love a little ponytail wig, a long one that will do for a ponytail. I know it's long. And the bangs are more straight, but they're thick. These are the thickest bangs I've ever seen in my life. But they come down very nicely. I like these bangs. They work for me. And I can simply take this little dark haired wig, which I really, really like. I really like the dark haredness of it. I'd like to put it behind my ear for the first time and see what it does. All right, I'll use this when it doesn't go, but it'll be fine for the short term. Now, you can see how pretty that is and how beautiful that ponytail lays. You can put it over your ears if you like, or you can just put it like this. You can see how beautiful and beautiful this Tia is. This is called the Tia. Um, this is a longer wig. Here, I'm gonna put it over my ears this time. You just need a bunch of these scrunchies if you're gonna invest in the longer wigs so you can wear a pony sometimes, like I like to do. This is a long, silky hairstyle, a long, silky one. I keep going back to these long hairstyles because I used to wear my hair like that when I was younger. I still didn't get that side just the way I wanted it. But you get the idea. I'll have to work on that a little bit more. But you can wear it and cover your ears as well. Both sides work and it's still a beautiful, beautiful hairstyle. You can put it up if you like. Just give her a twist. And I'll use this one that kind of goes a little bit better. This is just a clip with a bunch of lace on it. And I like those as well. If you see any of those out and about and you're looking to invest in a longer wig, those are very helpful. They do come in handy, I think. So you put that just right up underneath like that. And the ponytail can go down over it if you like. Just like that. And that's a really cute and fashionable way to wear a dark, long dark hair ponytail. Now, Of course, you can just make these come down like this if you want and leave the back up to be really messy. You like that messy look. That works too. But 
you know, you may not be into that style. I am not too much into the messy look. I just come from that generation where everything was kind of neat and accounted for. <laughs> just, I do. I come from that generation. So I would probably go back to wearing it in the pony. Something along that lines. So that's a shorter pony. I just tucked it up under the tucked it up underneath here. And there you have it. A really cute, cute looking hairstyle. I really like the longer one. So these are my longer, this is my longest. In fact, this is my only long, dark-haired wig. And it's beautiful. It's got the Malibu highlights in it. That is just so gorgeous. So I really like this wig for wearing ponytails. So, anyways. I'm going to put this one back down here. And I'm going to put on my favorite, which is the Diana. the Aesthetica. The Diana has the most of the gold lights, I think, of all the others. Maybe that's why I like her so well. I really do enjoy wearing the Diana. So which one is your favorite? Which one do you like? Do you step outside your boundaries, <laughs> out of your comfort zone the way I do all the time? <laughs> I'm always doing that with reds, grays. I don't care. I just love wigs. And so I'll wear the dark ones just as much as I'll wear my blonde ones and my reds. So I enjoy doing that. I love the look on people's faces when I walk into Starbucks or go to lunch with my friends and they see me in dark hair for the first time. I love the look on their face. I just feel like I can get away with it. My mother did have the dark hair and I have her face. And I just feel like I can get away with it, probably. I think I have my dad's coloring more so. Um, and he was blonde. He was blonde until he was old and not doing well. He was still blonde-headed. He had that blonde gray hair that was so pretty. But um, you can see that I'm a blonde, basically a blonde. But... I'm also on the borderline where I can go dark if I really feel like it, or I can simply choose to wear blondes and reds and even sometimes grays. And I'll be getting into the grays a little bit more at another time. I have a few grays, but not that many, and I'll be getting them out and having a look at them and seeing what grays that I have collected that I really like down the way. But you know me, I step out my outside my my zone of comfort every time. So this is the Bailey and I really like her. She's by Aesthetica and she is in Caramel Kiss. The Caramel Kiss color. Now I want to talk to you about something else. And I forgot my notes. But anyways it's about doubt. Have you ever doubted? Do you ever feel like God hasn't shown up for you? I know I have. There have been times, even right now, where there are things going on, and I've prayed and prayed and prayed about it, but so far God hasn't shown up. But the Bible tells us not to give up. Don't give up. It's important that we not give up. And there's something else to remember. I think it's Philippians 4.13. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So you can do all things, all things through Christ who strengthens us. So when you're going through those periods of doubt, fully believe that he will show up in due time. I don't know why. Nobody knows why he delays. He has his own reasons. 
but in the meantime, we have to deal with what we have to deal with, and sometimes it's difficult, but we can't give up. Don't give up. Hang in there. Remember, you can do all things, all things, every single thing you need to do, you can do through Christ who strengthens you. Pray for strength. If he hasn't shown up yet, pray for strength to get through it until he does show up and do what he promised. Sometimes it takes a while for God to get through and do what he promises. Sometimes he's delayed. Sometimes it's a spiritual battle going on, like when David prayed for something, I forget what it was, and the archangel Michael finally showed up and said, I'm sorry, but there was a big battle, big battle going on, and I had to stay and fight. So you never know what's going on in the spiritual realms that is fighting against you and keeping you from getting the promises that God has made to you, but he will prevail. He will. So that's my story for today. And I'm wearing the, the um, Diana in Caramel Kiss. And I have four dark wigs. This is my collection of dark wigs, including my newest with the ponytail. And um, I will see you tomorrow.